All right, this message, we're talking about why do narcissists, people watch so much and stay in other people's business? Why? Well, you see, a big part of narcissists being able to be the chameleons that they are is their ability to blend in um, with certain situations, certain people, um, etc. So a big part of that comes from them watching. All right, they have to monitor you. They have to watch you in secret, or they have their flying monkeys watch you. This is just what they do. A lot of you, when you think you've broken up with them and moved on, you're still talking to maybe. Um, one of your associates, affiliates, or whatever, that's still dealing with the narcissist. And the narcissist has those individuals reporting back to them everything that you converse with this individual about, with the, the flying monkey uh, associate and so forth. They're around, and those type of individuals take, they're just as much messy and narcissistic as the narcissist to even engage in that in fact they take pride in that they like being able to go report back to the narcissist about what's going on with you what are you planning what are you doing what are you talking about they love doing that and those type of individuals will play their role to the t as well by uh you know pretending and uh, w looking as though they're concerned, um, trying to offer help, anything to getting your, your business. We call that fishing. They're fishing to see what's going on with you, what what type of thing is, is happening in your life. They want to fish around to collect information so that they can go back and report. But the narcissist is always looking into individuals because... The narcissist is always up to no good. They're always involved in mischief. They're always in, involved in um, other lascivious type of activities as well. So these things the narcissist is drawn to. And in order to do that effective and efficiently, they have to be spying. They have to be watching what people are doing watching to see certain patterns of weaknesses in other individuals that's what they're looking for they're looking for vulnerabilities they're looking for things that they can exploit in people so they do to a large degree study people very closely watch people very closely gather information about these ind individuals very closely and this is why I always say, um, in fact, I encourage people, especially today, in today's societies, with these weirdos and individuals having access to this technology and this type uh, right at the touch of their fingertips, to guard your information and privacy as well. Because there are those individuals that are out there that are narcissists, that are, you know, looking to get into something that was it was it a passage in, in scripture where it says satan uh roams the earth to and fro up and down looking for people to tempt it's no different than a narcissist they're constantly on the lookout watching spying in, in more than one area on their friends on their exes they're constantly checking in make no mistake about it now you may have moved on with your life you're not even thinking about them you forgot all about them but they're still watching you if you have your information or life available for them to peek and peer in, into to see they're going to be watching and again a lot of it is is based on 
the type of mischief that they want to unleash to maybe potentially sabotage something you have or to potentially um, make a a Hoover type of, of situation happen out of it, depending on whatever um, base of, of progress you've you've, you know, delved off into once you've gotten uh, out of you know, the grass or you broken everything off with the narcissist. But there are people watching, looking for vulnerabilities in people. Again, narcissists function uh, dualistically. First as predators, then as victims. Right? So while they're on the attack, they're aggressive. They're going, you know, to try to conquer the target that they're trying to get towards but then after that target you know pulls back or or alerts other people or whatever uh, the narcissist turns into a victim this is the game that they play very effectively and it works on majority of people even you know people who are aware but just to note that the narcissist has to watch people and have an understanding of how the, these how you operate. They do all of this first so that they can have the best approach or best angle of attack or, or, or whatnot to go at these type of people. They're studying them. Again, narcissists, uh, it's not like a normal person where they're trying to get to know you to better see how that they can come together and, and, you know, collaborate with you to, to build. The narcissist is studying you to destroy, to expose a weakness, you know, or exploit that weakness. And and then at least exploit the weaknesses that they have uh, discovered. And that's pretty much how they operate. I mean, a lot of that watching, when you when you get wind of people watching you, observing you, not everybody there comes in peace. Not everybody there comes in regards to supporting you. You have a lot of predators looking to feast upon any weakness, upon any type of thing that they feel that can be exploited, that they see. And that's why they're, they're looking. That's why they're monitoring. And, and most of it is in secret, but they're going to monitor and look in to try to see what angle of attack they're going to come at. And this is why, again, I say, be careful of information that you put out, speak about, etc. Especially, I can't repeat this enough in today's world. Again, folks, you have very sick, twisted individuals out there with access to things um, and which really technically they shouldn't. Um, but nonetheless, they do. And so it's up to you to be able to protect yourself beforehand. That's why the information is given. If you're listening and you take to the, to the information, you'll be better prepared to not become a victim. I hear people speak about victim shaming um, from someone that may say something in regards to what I'm speaking about now about protecting yourself before you become a victim. Of course, we can't always be 100% perfect in, in, in you know, vetting off any type of uh, potential threat. But it's better to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Right? As the old saying goes. So that you're not being put in a victim uh, type of situation some things you're not going to be able to help yeah that's 
that's fine. We can't catch and win them all. Right? But it's best to at least, better at least, to be able to put yourself in position to have at least a, a winning chance. Right? We want to put ourselves in in the in the on the side of where the averages are going the laws of averages and the percentages are going to favor a better outcome that's what it's all about it's a it's a it's a it's a percentage game i don't know how many of you ever been to the casinos if you've been gambling or anything like that well they always say like the slot machines games like that most of those percentages is on the house. They're they're gonna have the advantage on there. They're they're gonna have the higher percentage of of getting your money than you taking their money, playing the slot machine and the board games. You know, poker. I mean, the crap crap table. The it's it's more balanced out. It's almost fifty fifty. In those games, and that's what we want to play the better averages. We want to put ourselves in position to more than likely win or have a better outcome, is what I'm essentially trying to say. And so that's what I mean by that. And so to understand that, yes, narcissists will spy and prey upon you, you have to be aware of these things so that you know how to move differently. So that you know what to speak about and and watch how you speak about certain things is what I'm saying. All right. Anyway, hit the like button, share, subscribe, click the link in the description. Shoot me an email if you want a one-on-one appointment. Until next time, have a good one.